On the last chance, December 28th, 9.51 a.m. District Court Defense Lobby Number 2. This is it. Judgment Day. Today's saying they're gonna be settled. Are going to settle at last. A lot of things. Ah! What's the big idea? S sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hadn't worn off from my when it was a stun gun yesterday. Anyway, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Edwards is looking glum as always. Hope Von Kama doesn't push him too hard. Whoa! What are you doing? S sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya. Maybe you should go outside and discharge. Right, good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. <laughs> ah, pal! Ugh. Ugh, what's going on to that goal? Detective Gumshoe! Morning, Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Edgeworth! Yeah, good morning. How'd it go, Detective? I have no fear, as promised I captured a one away caretaker. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. He must be tired. Actually, after all that chug I just got on the way in, I feel pretty good. Yogi says he forgot his own name. But that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Edwards if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember, and I'm going to prove it. December 28th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> the prosecution is ready. Uh, right, very well. We have reached the final day of our, of our proceedings in this trial. I ask the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be odd. It just sounds plus every little thing he says. Very well. Mr. Von Kama, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's effort, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as much as necessary. Very well. Please bring in the witness to the courtroom. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness, why did you run away yesterday? The witness has not was not running away, as you will as he will now testify. I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. <laughs> why I left court. Uh, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. Uh, but I wasn't on a went in away or nothing. Uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? Uh, I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. So my testimony yesterday stands as it is. Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name, Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. Why I left court? Uh, sorry about leaving yesterday, like I did. I call you did running away and not just leaving. You heard Larry's testimony, and re and realized you were in danger. Now, Mr. Wright, there is no need to rush to conclusions. As I said, the witness was not running away. Listen to the testimony. He sure seems relaxed. In fact, they both do. Ankama and Yaniyogi. Was I running away or nothing? Then why did you leave? He's just about to say why. Is that so hard for you to just quietly listen when someone is talking? If I sat quietly, Edwards would be guilty in three minutes. 
I to buy some food for Polly, see? Food? Well, uh, Polly is a bit of a gourmet, you see. She only eats these high-quality bird pellets from France. No, I say. You only have them in the big pet shop downtown. But you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker shack? Uh, well... I kind of got lost, you see. The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Kama. No one's gonna believe that. Hmm, I see. So he was lost. Please, Your Honor, come to your senses! They gotta got nothing to do with this, since it anyhow. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, yep. Seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh. Or... Or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. <sighs> How am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old cargo's head? That's impossible. Hm. I'm glad you come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness, please continue. I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one of those. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against those wars and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He cannot hold a grudge. It's impossible. That's prove he's lying about this memory. Otherwise, it's gonna be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? I yes, yes, Your Honor. You've been saying the same thing over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past, or lack thereof, into question. But, does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case, and no motive. Both of these statements are lies! Order! Order! Mr. Wright, this is a serious problem with... There is a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So, who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. Gregory Edwards, Yo Yanni Yogi Robert Hammond. His name is Yanni Yoga, a former co count court... Good God. A former court bailiff. Yogi? Hmm, that name sounds familiar. Oh! Johnny Yogi! From the DL6 incident? I figured the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But, uh, what does that mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now. <sighs> then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick, how are we going to prove it? How can you prove that he is Johnny Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Johnny Yogi 15 years ago. Hmm, I see. That makes sense. Huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Why? The witness has no fingerprints. What? What? No fingerprints! Huh! Uh, uh, you'll see. Uh, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. Uh, I my fingers walking with the stuff. Yeah. Wh what? Yogi, you sneak. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, 
Uh, I guess we'll not be able to prove his identity. No. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh. <laughs> it seems that the case has been decided, no? No. I know what happened. I know everything! I, I just can't prove it! But no, I can't let it end here like this. I can't lose! There has to be another way. There is no one else who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Nick, what are we gonna do? I don't even- I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints! Oh, what do I do? Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine his parrot for a little comic relief. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. You're so winner, Von Karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine his parrot? Wh what is it, Nick? No! You're not going to! Your Honor? The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? On my proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. Uh. Order! Order! Uh, well, uh, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need you even ask? This is a force! I object! Objection! Wait a second! You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. I have a right to do as you suggested. Hmm. Well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest. Of course, you should go through with this. And nothing comes of it. Then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy. Well, still want to go through with this little game? I'm doing it. Let the parrot take the stand. I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard! Von Kama's rigged every, every person's testimony, every piece of evidence, except that parrot. She's my last chance. <laughs> At least, I think so. Bailiff, bring in the parrot! <laughs> uh, that's quite a bird! Please tell us your name. Name! The witness is ignoring me. Uh, it must hurt to be ignored by a bird. Uh, I love this game. <clears throat> Very well, witness. Who is your owner? Please uh, testify for us. Who is your owner? Hello! Hello! What? <laughs> hmm. Certainly the most concise testimony we've heard so far. Very well, begin your cross examination. Right. What are you gonna do, Nick? Uh, I don't know. What do we do, Maya? Mm. Well, uh, I guess we're trying to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that the owner is Mr. Yogi. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. Oh my god, I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Alright, uh, what do I say? Have you forgotten anything? What's your name? Start off with what's your name. You should get her to say her name. Holly, Holly, what's your name? Holly, Holly, what? Mr. Wright, uh, I think we've established that this pair is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with the owner's identity? Ah. Uh, Right now, I don't think it does. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with that, though. No. Hmm. Please only ask questions pertaining to the matter at hand. <sighs> Continue her testimony. Witness, you're here to speak, you must speak. <laughs> Frankly, I can't believe that you're speaking to the parrot. Well, I guess we should try. Okay. Have we forgotten something? If I recall, two days ago... Polly! Polly! Have we forgotten something? What? Don't forget the L6! What? 
I can get Polly to say that here. That'll prove that the caretaker had something to do with steals. Uh, Polly, have you forgotten something? Hello! Hello! Squawk! Th that's not what you were supposed to say! Forgot something! We forgot! Hello! Hello! Oh, it's not working, Nick! She won't say it! It's ridiculous! Why won't she say it? Something the matter, Mr. Wright? Wait... Don't tell me Von Kama expected this! He couldn't have retrained that parent, could he? Did he train her not to respond when we asked if we forgotten something? Uh, well, the save combination doesn't do anything for us. Uh, I need to see court record, court records, profiles. Suspect of the L6 incident, former account bailiff, now in the under shop. Uh, Von Kalma. Okay, the name has to be something then. Go to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly, squirrel! Mr. Wright, I believe you established that the parent's name is Polly. Have anything to do with her identity? I believe so? Yes, it does. Ha! Fascinating. You claim that the parent's name will prove her owner's identity. Then show us proof. Nick, don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen, we're not here to answer questions of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All you have to do is tie the name Polly the Yogi. Your Honor, the proof that the parent's name revealed the caretaker's identity is... Elevator, oxygen deprived, very, very edge was, fence, trapped in the elevator, lost the sun, nine, one blows the heart, mother was fight twice, Yanni Yogi, poor bail, trapped in the elevator. Well, uh, was mild edge was, memory lost, with oxygen deprivation, after the arrest, fiance Polly Jenkins committed suicide! I did not see that till just now! Okay, so glad. This. The DL6 file. That's quite a large file you have there. Which page is this proof on then? Show us or stop wasting time. I thought I had to show the parent. I'm so glad I looked at the file. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please show us the page. Where in this file is the information concerned to the parent's name? It's on the suspect data page. This page has all the information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide, see? Hmm, indeed, it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly. Exactly, Your Honor. He wanted to remember the name of his fiance who had committed suicide. That's why he named his parrot after her. I see, I guess that is possible. Bah, a mere coincidence, that is all. My granddaughter has a dog she calls Phoenix. Well, Mr. Phoenix Wright, does this make you my granddaughter's fiance? He's only seven years old. Hmm, indeed. Alone, it is a little weak for evidence at a model trial. We need some more... other corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? Nick, we're getting closer! One more. If I can just get one more piece of evidence. Right, but what? Hmm. Very well, witness. You may continue. Ah. Uh... Twelve twenty-eight. I think. Well, that was the code, right, for the ba 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 for the safe? Cause that's the date. Let's say, cause uh, we can't get anything from having forgotten something. So the safe number. Maybe I'll get her to say the number of that safe. Huh? Safe? Why? Uh, let's just try to get her to say something, okay? Holly, what's the number of the safe in the shack? One two two eight. One two two eight. Why, what a reckless parent. Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. Actually, it does. 
That's why I had her say it. Ha! Ridiculous. How can the number two safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof. What could possibly link this number to the caretaker? Uh, case summary. The DL6 file. What in this? Yes, same thing as before, the case summary. It's on the case summary page. The case summary. Specifically, the date on which the DL6 incident occurred. The date of the incident, December 28th. Why, that's today's date. 15 years ago. And the number on that safe is 1228, or 1228. Ah! Oh! He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. That's how important that date was to him. Oh, I see, it certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. Bah! This is not tangible proof. I set my ATM card number to 0001 because I'm number one. This has nothing to do with a date. Nothing! That's enough. I think we reached a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence. That's all. True, that is a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. Wh what are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Immediately. Witness. Tell us your name. Wait. This witness, he doesn't remember. No. It's okay. Huh? I've accomplished what I wanted to do. I'm done. Nick, he looks totally different. That's the real yogi, I think. Finally. He's been acting feeble to hide his true identity. Acting for 15 years. Well, uh, let me ask you again. Please state your name for the court. My name is Yanni Yogi. Fifteen years ago, I served with the bailiff in this very court. Order! Order! Yanni Yogi. So, was it you who killed Robert Hammond? And tried to frame Miles Edwards for his death? Yes. It was me. I did it. Well, this is the quickest trial yet. They put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond. He said I was mentally unsound. He told me I wouldn't... It wouldn't make me innocent. It would make me innocent. Get me off the hook. So, I pretended to have brain damage. I was innocent, really. But he didn't believe me. He won the trial. But I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiancé, my social standing. <sighs> then, this year, 15 years later, a package arrived. It was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I don't care who sent it. I thought this was my chance after 15 years. This was it. Finally, a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I have no regrets. Wait a moment. Revenge? Against Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edwards yourself? Anyways, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Von Kama, where is Mr. Yogi? Under arrest, Your Honor. I saw no room for error in this confession. Then the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, is innocent in this case at least. Hmm. Very well. Will the defendant please take the stand? There's a few mysteries left unsolved. Still, you are clear of suspicion for this particular case. So I would like to pass judgment on the murder of Robert Hammond. Any objections? I don't believe it. Why is Von Kama saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Not guilty. Woo! That is all. This court is adjourned.